what's happening and welcome back to the um, third episode now of this career mode and now someone in the comment I think the first episode someone mentioned um, Lawrence Shankland and I'm having a little look at him here it doesn't seem too great to be honest with you so I mean I'll scout him further he looks to be a value about a million pounds but I'm not too sure on this guy anyway so up next in the league, we do have um, St. Johnston. We've started the league pretty well. Hopefully, we can continue this on. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sim this with the new interactive sim, obviously, in the game. And um, we'll see how we got on with this team. St. Johnston, I think they're doing okay in the league. I'm not too sure. I mean, in this game, not in real life. I think in real life, they're playing pretty poorly just now. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Good ball over for St. Johnson. They can get a sell in the box here and they have scored. Now that puts a spanner in the works. Stevie May was dangerous against us the other week there. And in FIFA 21 he's dangerous against us here. I'm just going to make a few changes I think. Um, bring some of these players on. Try and impact the game since we're a goal down. And there we have it, yes! Ryan Christie in there with the equaliser, come on. And again! Goals in quick succession now, Edward gets his goal too. St Johnson looking dangerous on this counter-attack, and they've scored. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a few extra changes now, and I think what we'll do is we'll just jump into the game. And see if we can... Alter events here. Right. I'm going to have to just go at them. My team, they just feel so tired. Want it back with Callum McGregor. He's going to give this in to Boadu. Boadu's got Edward ahead of him, but he's going to hold this play up here for Tumble. Tumble back to Boadu. Ring in the box now, we've got a little pass in here to Callum McGregor, Callum McGregor setting up Tom Rogic and Tom Rogic, the master of late goals, comes in to make it 3-2 I'm actually enjoying this, this is quite good, the little jump in there where you can jump in and alter events of the game Bang, slip through pass from Edward, brilliant play from Celtic in the final third and that is exactly what we needed to get back into this game. You can see what that means to him. The late goal. And I'd now deflated St Johnston FC. And that'll be it. Full time. We've used our jump in there to get the win. To gather the three points or else. It probably would have been a draw. A one pointer as they say. And that wouldn't have been good for our league table position. Okay so we've just had a message from Encham. And it looks... Like he's wanting a little bit more game time He's a little bit unhappy on the bench So what I'll do with him is I'll see what games we've got coming up ahead And um, I'll use him with that yeah, I think we do have a scout future star Well not a scout future star, scouting report coming in Raw Bacon, nothing too good there Lucas Miller, he looks alright 94 potential, Lewis Orr, he looks good as well Mackenzie, Lewis Miller, nope And nope so we're getting actually quite decent youth in. Just now, good Scottish youth as well. We've got Gordon at the back as well. Got some decent players. We've also got a little training injury there for our centre back, but that will be fine. Okay, so kicking on now. Um, we've got our second game in the group stage of the Europa League against Burnley. Now, if you watched the previous episode, we did take a 3-2 defeat to Villarreal. So this game here is very vital you can see what we've got else going on but you can see there are 3-2 to Villarreal they're the recent games we've played and simmed um, so this game ahead is going to be good the month ahead is going to be good as well we've got CSK Moscow to play still so as you can see the table there not looking too great we do have a squad report though for our youth we'll jump in and we'll see this Yang he's progressing very nicely do you know what 
stats are looking okay, 17 years, 60 rated, I think I'm going to promote him to the senior team. Just for now. Lewis Orr is looking very good as well, 62 rated, playing centre mid. I'm not sure if I'll maybe put him as a cam or not. I'll maybe need to see how his thing he develops, because you can see he's got four star skill moves there. Uh, Yeksov looking pretty decent as well. You can see he's got a position change, so what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll just change this very quickly from um, a cam, from his centre mid, sorry, to a cam, and we'll see exactly what that does, and that boosts his stats right up. You see there, he just jumped to a 59. So he's obviously better suited in that position. Thank God now. So before, he's 60 rated, 16. He's looking good now. You see 54 to 60, good return on that. Jack Marshall as well, probably a similar player, and we've also got... Lucas Miller, maybe the um, Kenny Miller reincarnated, <laughs> you never know, does have a little bit more here than Kenny Miller right enough, but he could be the next young Scottish striker for us, maybe like a Scott McDonald kind of player, who knows, who knows, but anyway, focus has to go back to the Europa League tie that we have here against Burnley, setting up the team pretty strongly, I should say so myself, I uh, have a little look at their team. We've got Brady, obviously. Some decent players in there. And we'll just see how we get on. You can see Bladu. Four goals in his last three games. That is a man in form. A man to be feared. And I'm sure Burnley will be fearing him coming into this game. Under the lights at Celtic Park today. Hopefully... We can show what, all what we're about at home because, of course, our home record is brilliant in Europe. Hopefully, we continue that on and maybe get the three points and show that we're a force to be reckoned with in this group. Inch, I'm going to switch to play. That's a good ball over there. To El I'm going to cut this inside. Christy, Celtic probing with the ball. At halfway, going to go forward a little bit now. Edward, nice little pass there. If we can find him again. On the volley! Ah. Good pressing from Edward there. A team press if we can just hold up here for Callum McGregor coming in. For 1-0. Oh, what a save. What a save from Nick Pope. Let's see this again. Oh. Get his ball into the box. Get ahead on that. Save again from Nick Pope. A ball's coming back in. And another one. Brilliant start to this game. And I think they'll get that clear. Again, the pressing from Celtic. And here we have now Christie coming into the box. Piling it on for Edward. And he's just missed it there. We can get his ball back into Badu. Oh, we've hit the post. But he's given away a penalty. Ben Mee. I can't believe that's a penalty. How on earth is that? I don't even. I didn't even see what happened. I knew we hit the post. I see us again. Oh, he's come over into the back of them, and oh, you can see Sean Dyke not happy about that, and Edward may be in place here to put Celtic a goal to the good in the second match day of Europa League, and he does. Top corner finish for Edward, and a good start to this game. We've been all over Burnley, absolutely all over them. You can see what that means to the fans and Edward coming right up to the camera. And that's the name on the back of the shirt. Odds on Edward. Burnley coming back into it a little bit more. Seeing more of the possession. We were completely all over them in the first 10 minutes. This is a good ball to Felipe Anderson. He's going to be a player to watch here. Oh, he's just skipped past me, Ashley Barnes. Oh my God. These chip goals, by the way. What a finish that is. What a goal that is. Little shimmy of the feet. Skill move there to get past his man. And the awareness to see the keeper. Celtic looking to counter attack now. Some good passing play from the two up top. And we're going to give this out wide to Elianusi. If he can catch it, he can. If he can get this ball into the box. Potentially the ball's coming in. Badu. Oh... The header was powerful, but it wasn't on target. Keeper hits this long. Win the ball back again in the centre of the midfield. Christie on the ball. 
and to Encham, Encham into McGregor, now to Edward, to Boadu, Boadu's going to pick this ball up and drive with it, he's going to see Christy there coming in, plays that ball back across to Callum McGregor and what a team goal that is, fantastic pass and play, walked the ball into the net essentially there, and now we're 2-1 up against a, prem a good Premier League side in Burnley, not, not a bad side at all, showing we can mix it. Oh, that's a good pass. Stretching us here at the back. Here's Flippy Anderson. Nice little bit of skill there for the Burnley midfielder. It's going to take a little deflection and maybe a half chance for Burnley, but no, but that's snuffed out by Ensham. Can give this back to Barkas. Celtic creating space for themselves. Elianus is going to give this an Edward. He's going to see Boadu up top with him. Now Christie comes into the phase of play. Again, Edward in a good position. Back to Christie. Christie with the shot! What a goal! Ryan Christie, precise passing from Celtic. Opened it up for themselves. And a fantastic goal for Ryan Christie. That is an absolute screamer on his weaker foot as well. You can see what that means to the fans. Celtic Park going mental in the Europa League. The little one-two, the give and go. Bang, top corner, fantastic goal. Goal of the season so far from Ryan Christie. Well, one in the air and now Celtic have it again. Coming forward just before half-time and that will be half-time. Half-time score, 3-1. You can see the other goals here, Moscow and Villarreal, 1-1. One, one, which is just a point, so that could put us in good stead to take second place here and catch Villarreal good pass and play in the centre of the midfield there and that ball's been released to Boadu early and that's a good pass from Edward but Boadu still has the finish to do he's low driven it into the back of the net and we're beating Premier League Burnley 4-1 4-1 Boadu is an absolute machine what a signing he has been by the way what an absolute signing the pass from Edward was Exquisite. And he had the composure and time to finish it with his weaker foot. Burnley coming ahead, trying to get something going on the counter-attack. They desperately need something out this game. That is a good ball over the top. And they could perhaps be dangerous here, but they've wasted that with a pass back into the middle. And perhaps Celtic now is a pretty end-to-end -end game now. McGregor's going to give this out wide. Floats it into El Yanusi, back into McGregor. Now the pitch is going to open up him for him here, I think, and it's going to play it through. Oh, I was tending for Boadu, but we've found Frimpong. And found Turnbull! Oh! Taking a deflection on the way in, but an outside of the box. First time volley from Turnbull. And the effort pays off with a stroke of luck. 5-1. 5-1. I think just after we got the third goal, the floodgates opened. They, like, they were just too open at the back trying to chase the game. You can see the huge deflection there. Nick Pope had absolutely no chance for that. And that's another brilliant goal from Celtic. <coughs> Getting good defensive work there, all, but we've been snatched off us at the back. Coming forward now, Burnley. Good defensive clearance there, and Barkas can get us away. But it's a poor clearance from Barkas, and it's going to come out now. Back again to the edge of the box. Burnley trying to show what they can do. The slight tackle comes in, he's missed it, he's let him through, and... There is a consolation goal, I would say, only 10 minutes to go. And Keia from Arsenal, obviously signed on loan or by transfer. And that will be it, guys. That will be it. We've just beat Burnley. The three points in the bag, in the group. A massive three points. I didn't know what we'd be doing. If we lost here today, we desperately, desperately needed that. And thank God we got it. You see there, the man of the moment. Probably the man of the match, I would say, Boadu. Fantastic. Christy played pretty well as well. I'd maybe put him in for a shout as well as Callum McGregor. But brilliant game all round. Fantastic from us. And um, that'll be it for this episode, guys. So if you do enjoy this series, the, the Celtic Creamer that I'm doing, leave a like, comment, any suggestions for signings, and I'll see you in episode four.